What's up guys, welcome to the show. So let's talk about uh, Tyson Fury uh, versus uh, Wilder part two. Now of course this matchup was set to be the biggest matchup of the past 20 years. Uh, pretty much it was built up to be one of the biggest matchups of all time. Uh, now it really didn't disappoint. Now let's talk about the entrances first. The entrances were so good they gave me goosebumps. They were really that good. Uh, the matchup started and really Fury just came out furious, uh, pun intended. Uh, he came out just swinging and swinging hard. Of course, uh, Wilder was definitely not just taking it. His defense uh, wasn't bad. It wasn't great. Uh, he was, of course, uh, fighting back, uh, doing a lot of shots and stuff like that uh, back uh, as well. But it was pretty much one-sided really from the get-go. Uh, Fury was able to, to drop uh, Wilder uh, a few times throughout uh, the matchup. He did a kidney shot that dropped him to the ground, a jaw shot that dropped him to the ground, clipped his nose, dropped him to the ground. Uh, so it was pretty much one-sided. Um, it was still a really exciting matchup. It was still really, really good. I definitely do agree with the fact that it was, to me, in my books, it was one of the greatest matchups that I've seen in the past 25 years, at least for sure. Uh, probably one of the, you probably will go down in history as being one of the greatest matchups of all time, uh, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, uh, Fury, of course, ended up winning that matchup by TKO. So what happened was, Fury was able to get uh, Wilder into the corner. Uh, he started just laying on him, and you could tell by uh, Weber's face that he was pretty much out. You could see it in his eyes. You could see it in his face that uh, if that were to go on for. Uh, any longer he would have been KO'd like definitely for sure so Weber's corner was smart and they threw in the towel uh, thus giving Fury the TKO win uh, I definitely agree with that finish I think uh, it was definitely just uh, they had no choice but to actually throw in that towel he was dead on his feet for sure you could definitely see that if you watch the matchup uh, nothing taking away from uh, Wilder, of course. He's still one of the greatest of all time. Uh, he's still one of the greatest uh, to today, um, for sure. But Fury just proved the fact of that he is just that much better. Uh, Fury, I think, in my mind, will definitely go in history as being one of the all-time greats. He's going to go down, of course, in history with Muhammad Ali. Uh, he's going to go down in history with George Foreman. Uh, Mike Tyson, you know, all the really big, great names. I think Fury is now really up there with. Uh, I think that Fury is going to be hard to beat. I don't really see him ever actually losing that uh, world heavyweight title. I think he's going to be one of the guys that retires as champ and retires undefeated. His record is now like 42, I think. Uh, 42 wins with one draw and no losses. Like, that's insanely, insanely impressive. Uh, he does have a fight coming up uh, later on this year, but I do believe that, of course, him and um, Wilder will meet for a third time. Probably not for the next uh, at least year and a half to two years uh, for sure, but it would be interesting to see. I think, of course, if they met again, Fury, of course, would win again. Uh, I don't really see anybody that is you know in the lineup that could really beat fury uh, a lot of guys could give him a good matchup a lot of guys could give him run for the money but i don't think anybody could really beat him uh right now yet uh, but the match itself of course went seven rounds uh there were really good seven rounds uh you could see throughout the fight fury was having a little bit of fun um with weber i don't think he was taking him like really really serious i think he was uh fury was feeling good he was feeling you know, um, really confident. Uh, you know, at one point he licked uh, Weber's neck and he kind of like, it kind of seemed like he was like, oh, I got this, I, I can totally beat this guy. Uh, but he proved it, he backed up his words and he did it. Um, yeah, uh, I thought it was a great fight. I think it'll go down in history of one of the greatest rematches ever. Uh, I'm definitely really, really pumped that uh, Fury ended up pulling off the win uh, for sure. But let me know in the comment section uh, if you guys are happy that Fury won or if you think Wilder should, uh, you know, 
have not thrown in the, the towel and it should have gone on to uh, to continue on the flight. Like I said, I think he was dead on his feet though. Like you could see it in his face. You could see it in his eyes. He would have, Fury would have dropped him for the 10 count uh, if that would have gone on any longer for sure. Fury was just too much for him. Fury was just too, I think Fury is just too tall and everything. Like he was just too good that night. Like granted the, the first fight, I think Fury should have won the first fight, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, that's the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and much, and I'll check you in the next one.